So I created a sample uh, student LinkedIn portfolio similar to what you're going to want to do. And so you can see I created it for Jane Student, who is a student at Northwestern Michigan College. And so basically what I did was I edited the background and I just simply um, uploaded one of my own photos. And I did the same thing for the picture. I just uploaded my own picture. Uh, then I got the uh, first and last name and you're gonna put in your own. Um, for your headline, you can have whatever you want here. Headlines are actually uh, pretty important if you're looking for a job. So if you're looking for a job, I would say programmer, web developer, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna just leave it at student. And then uh, for locations, for some reason, it kept putting Saginaw, so I switched it uh, to Traverse City. I'm guessing you're gonna have to probably do the same thing. And how you get your name and address in here is you have to edit the contact information. Okay, so this is a, a made up phone number. You guys are gonna need to put your real number in. Uh, and then put your address in. And you'll notice I did not put my birthday in. That is totally optional. <laughs> and uh, you definitely want the phone, uh, your name and address. And then you hit apply. And let's scroll down just a little bit. Uh, down here is where you're going to be putting uh, the professional information. So uh, I did put my personal website, and if you have something like that, you can put it in. Uh, I did put a personal blog. If you have something like that, you can put a link to that as well. And I just typed these headings, okay, and then uh, typed in the address. What you're going to need for class are the GitHub repositories. Put a little space in here. So, um, final project for CIT 178. And I can even put relational databases. And then after that, once the final project is done and we've loaded it to a GitHub uh, repository, you'll actually put the URL of the repository here. Right now, I just kind of left it GitHub URL. We'll have to come back at the end of the semester and fix that. Uh, then, for the description, it's basically going to be SQL Server code that creates a database. Uh, six, you're going to have at least six related tables uh, with at least five records in each. Uh, you'll have procedures, triggers, constraints, etc. After you finish your project, you can kind of fix that up to reflect what you actually did. And we are going to start creating it end of September, beginning of October. So I just put October 2018 for a date. And you'll probably be revising that all the way up to end of November, beginning of December. So you may need to adjust those. Uh, the documentation for this is going to be a database diagram, and that will be included in the GitHub repository. Uh, for the 180 class, if you are taking that one, you will have Final Project 4, CIT 180, HTML, and CSS programming. Uh, your final project will be loaded to GitHub. So for right now, you just will put in GitHub URL when you actually have a URL, then you can copy and paste it in here. Uh, the description is going to be uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code uh, used in the project. You're not going to create it until November, December. And so uh, it'll be end of the semester that you're doing that. And then you will also have it at a live website. So you'll have the code at GitHub, but then you will have a live website. So you can actually link that URL right here. 
And then finally, if you're in the CIT 190 class, uh, it's basically going to be the same thing. You're going to have a final project for CIT 190, JavaScript programming. Uh, you are going to have, <laughs> boy, this scrolls quick. You are going to have a GitHub URL in here. Uh, your final project is going to be three games and a responsive menu to access the games. Uh, we should be creating that sometime in October or start creating. You're going to actually have three different commits to uh, GitHub with this for each of your milestones. And so you'll start it in October, but you'll continue updating uh, right up until the end of November, beginning of December. Uh, as far as documentation goes, you are going to have README text files that will be included in your repository. And again, you'll have a live website that you can link to. So once you type all of this fun stuff in, depending on what class you're in, I'm going to hit save. So your name and your city will be at the top. There will be a little link to your contact information. And it's getting the email from the email that you used when you signed up. And you'll notice I had to use <laughs> Yahoo for this fake account because all of my other emails are already used with my real account. Okay, so you guys can just use uh, either a personal email or you could use your uh, NMC email. Okay, and then this is all of that uh, professional information that I just showed you. Okay, and that's pretty much what you need uh, as far as required information goes. Once you have completed the certification exams, then you can actually add those. So if we look here under accomplishments, you will see that there are certification exams that you can add. Okay, so you'd have to fill this out. And all of this information should be available to you after you pass the exam. There's a short waiting period and then you'll get an email and you can access all of that information. And you'll notice there's a certification URL. Once you fill all of this in, it will link directly to your certification. Other things that you may want to fill in our courses that you're taking that are related directly to jobs that are, you are applying for, uh, any honors or awards that you've gotten, uh, organizations that you belong to. Uh, skills are often good to list because quite often employers will do searches based on skills. So if you take uh, the database administration certification and you pass, I would definitely list SQL and SQL Server as skills. Uh, likewise, if you take the HTML and CSS programming certification and you pass, I would list HTML, HTML5, CSS, and CSS3 as skills. Okay. And if you have any work experience, you definitely are going to want to list that too. And you can add that right here. And you can add your education as well. Okay, so if you have any questions about what you need to do in here, please ask.